here. It's game two of the ALDS between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. This seems an important ball game coming up here in Game 2. Yeah, and remember that this is just a five-game series, so getting that first win under your belt is especially important right here. They can get a second win now, they could really give themselves a good chance to move on. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups in first pitch. Are next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. in a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Toronto Blue Jays as their order will read like this. They'll match it up against the big fella as you see the numbers right there for the right hander Matt Latos. third base dugout now is Jose Reyes and we are ready for baseball from the Bronx. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line with strike one. Now the pitch. Now he reaches and hits this one hard the other way. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. So the leadoff man is gone here to kick off game two. And with that, let's give you a look at the Yankees' defense. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Dalton Pompey digs in at the plate. First pitch on the way. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Here's Latos now on 0 and 2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. How nice would it be to come out and set the tone of this ball game right away. You take the front part of the order and get him out one, two, three. He's looking for that number three hitter right now. Josh Donaldson will have his 
first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Yep. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing won. And you know, these guys come in here on the loss in game one. And maybe that's to be expected. Remember, these guys are the underdogs in the series. But if they have any designs on winning the series, that makes this game two such an important game. You'd hate to go home down two games to nothing already. And knowing that you'd need to take three in a row to win the series, it just doesn't happen very often. Three, and he comes three. back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Blue Jays nothing. Yankees coming to bat. Major League Baseball on the show. Starting lineup for the Yankees, as presented by Joe Girardi, will look like this. Josh Kalmenter will be on the mound to face them. And this is a guy that needs to establish the inside part of the plate because his stuff is such that he'll have a hard time getting by if he doesn't mix in location well. Behind him defensively, the Blue Jays take the field like so. And there you see Jacoby Ellsbury as he'll lead things off here in the home half of the first. like this one it's going to be even more important than usual to keep that fastball down that's right where he's got to be living one strike home now to Ellsbury Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there oh and two now oh this is exactly where you want that change up to be that thing fell right through the bottom of the zone no chance Starting to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. And you know, pitching's a lot more than just velocity. This guy, he's living proof. If you hit your spot, change speed, you can get guys out with an 87, 88 mile an hour fastball, and he did it right there. Deborah Cabrera will take his first cut to the ball game here. the first offering and he couldn't hold back that time they say he went around at strike one the pitch boy comes back with a beautiful pitch there and he's dominating this at bat it's 0-2 now first curveball of the day for him and likely not the last no he's got a good one there's no doubt about that He'll start it on the hip versus righties, and he'll backdoor it to lefties. Two different locations, but equally effective. And Smoke won't get a glove on it. It's a fair ball. Yeah, plenty to worry about now with only one out. Not only do you have a dangerous hitter on deck, but you've got a real speedster over there at first, so you can very well be on the move here. David Rosario. Get his first shot now with the runner at first following the one out single. Here's a look over to first. He made it safe. And he'll get back in safely. First offering on the way. There we go. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And just your classic single and a stolen base. Now with one out to first, another base in here, we put that first run on the board. Good 
lead there at second. Here's the pitch. He bounces this one toward the left side, and that's going to find the hold in the left field. It's a base hit. And on the error, a run is going to score. second fairly easily. Any thought of third base here? Nah, I don't think so. He's got a good hitter at the plate. A single is probably all he needs. I'd let him try to drive you in. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. Well, you could tell he was not at all committed to this swing. Boy, maybe he should be committed after that one. When you've got a runner in scoring position, this is the wrong time to miss a pitch by a foot and a half. Pickoff move to second. Oh, and a dive, but he's back in there. Here's Michael Brantley. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question. And yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. Behind the runner at second, back in standing. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. The Yankees forced to settle for one. Edwin Encarnacion leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now here's the first pitch. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it one and one. One one on the way. And a bouncing ball foul. The right hander deals on one and two. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him. There's one away. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. I don't think he knows either. That was that was almost in the on deck. Into the box, Tomas Ortega. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Now here it comes. In well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Here's Lechos now on 0 and 2. And third is A Rod. Get in there safely. Well, everything looked okay here on the pickup and transfer, but then you see him just fire this thing straight into the box seats down there. That's going to be scored an E5 and a lucky souvenir baseball for one of the fans. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. Found it fouled off to the right. Comes set. Now the pitch. Oh, front footage. 0 oh, 2. Any surprise they're attacking him like this? Those are two good pitches. 
No, I, I think that's the way this guy operates. The more back down out there, the more shoot. Foul back. Here comes another 0-2. Connor Navarro will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. Now the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Yeah, you know, first time through, he likes to start guys off with a fastball. And it's a good one, too. You know, he'll run it up there in the mid-90s. Off, now the pitch. Strike two. And sometimes if you don't get to a guy like this early, then you're never going to get to him. So you don't want to let this chance pass you by. From the belt, the pitch. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Here comes the one, two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. First, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One left for Toronto. They trail this one one to nothing. Ryan McCann will start things off in the bottom of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. I don't think there's any intent with that. That might be just to let him know that he's out there. The next pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. And the pitch. Anticipated. Here's the ground ball now to the right side. Onto the pitcher covering, and he dropped the baseball. Brett Gardner will stand in. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. There to take it in is Donaldson for the first out. He'll take a long exhale on his way back to the dugout. When he looks back on the tape of this, he'll realize that he's a little more committed to his swing. He had no chance of that working out well. Now let's love we get take his first cut here with the runner still at first and one away now. Now here's the first pitch. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Think you'll see another one of those before this at-bat's through? <laughs> After that swing, I think you can just about take that to the bank. From the stretch. And A-Rod swings and misses at that one. He's in a quick 0-2 hole now. now. He's probably oh, lucky he didn't make contact on that one. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And A-Rod is on base. It's a base hit. Well, he wasn't able to do anything. There's two on the pitch in the side. What fastball it gets? Jumps all over them. That's what you've got to do. You might get one pitch in that bat you can handle. He was able to make it down here. Here, Didi Gregorian. And this is pop foul behind the plate. It's strike one. Steps off a second there. Now the pitch. This is 
swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Set now the pitch and a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time and there are two away. If you want to see a guy get blown away at the plate, this is just one finger down three times in a row. He was just overmatched there. First pitch to him. Jacoby Ellsbury stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, and you know you've got a good changeup when you can come out and throw it first pitch just like he did right there. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. And a swing and a miss there by Ellsbury as he's down nothing in two now. So this guy started the ball game out with a strikeout. He may end the second with one, too. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more postseason baseball in Game 2 after this. Justin Smoke ready to go here as we begin the third. Justin Smoke. Here's the first pitch. Plato's back to work as he gets ahead of the first man to greet him here. Nothing in one. That one's at 94, so velocity's good right now. Uh, one good fastball deserves another as he jumps ahead 0-2 now. Here it comes. Strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. You'll see where these three pitches are on show track. They're all in the strike zone, all basically right on top of one another. So clearly, they had a plan of attack there, and it ends up a strikeout. Here's Brian Dozier now. That's the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the day. Pitch on the way. This ball will be chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. Now another 0-2. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. You know, it seems like every time we check these out to show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Oh. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Here comes the 1-0. 2 and 0 now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Now Latos ready, the 2-0. Oh, trying to hold back as this is hit back toward the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. It remains one nothing. Everett Cabrera makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Under this is Pompey, and he's got it for the first down. Ah, he's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. The ball winds up getting hit pretty well, but not well enough to do any damage. One pitch out. David Rosario will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Here's the first offering. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. 
Ortega is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Oh, you can definitely feel and tell that it's October out there. There's a little bit of moisture in the air. Here, this ball sounded pretty good off the bat, and you wonder if it would have been a different story if it was mid-July out there. Paul Goldschmidt will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, he straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. Ooh. I'll tell you, you do not want to buzz this guy's tower. Here's the 1 0. -oh. This is grounded foul. Two out, nobody on. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. I'll tell you what, it's tough to try and outthink this guy out there. Seems like whatever pitch he throws, you're stuck looking for something else. Well, trying to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're on top, one to nothing. Maybe Dalton Pompey. We'll stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Now here's the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The pitch. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Josh Donaldson will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. First pitch coming. In there, 0-1. One ball, one strike. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's to two and one now. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. That's more than the rest of these guys can say. To two and two now. So much for taking a few pitches. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against his hitters. He's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now, he said now. Edwin Encarnacion stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination oh, these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Oh. The 1-0. Now this ball is also swung on and also hit on the ground first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Michael Brantley will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Oh, missed that one by a mile, it's 0-1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off in half bat. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Well, he's had a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on, so it's a great idea to go ahead and bounce one there on 0 and 2. And he pops it up, back behind second base. Dozier is underneath this one. One gone. Well, sometimes when you miss with your location, it actually works to your benefit. I mean, this pitch is further up than I think he wants it, but hey, 
Ryan McCann. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the ship. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. One run on three hits and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Here it comes. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's another 0-2. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. I have a double edged sword right here. He wants to bounce a curveball to get a swing through, and he gets it, but then he's got to worry about that ball maybe getting away. Fortunately, that's a nice play to keep it close just to get the runner out of first. Here's Brett Gardner now. And he oh. tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Off of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. Game two coverage rolls on after this. Tomas Ortega will stand in to lead things off here. And his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. First pitch on the way. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it should be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Jose Bautista will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. Swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And say goodbye to that one. Into the seats and right for a home run. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista. His first homer here in the series as the Blue Jays are even now at one run apiece. And as a pitcher, when your guys aren't scoring any runs for you, it makes things awfully difficult out there for you. I mean, he's held them off for as long as he could, but now with one swing, this is a completely different ball game. Here's the catcher, DeAndre Navarro. So pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. Pitch on the way. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. The pick. And Navarro swings and misses on a good pitch there, and there are two away. Well, after you just given up a home run to the the ball game, you can't afford to have a letdown. He made sure he did. He came back with a short strikeout. He got the next guy. Here's Justin Smoke now. Let's go watch a first pitch curve goal drop in there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now pitch on the way. 
Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Just over, man. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. One in the inning for the Blue Jays, and it comes courtesy of the Jose Bautista home run. On to the bottom of the fifth, all even at one apiece. Alex Rodriguez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Offering on the way. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Didi Gregorius will stride in again. Struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. What a flip for one. On to Smoke gets a double play. Well, it only took him one pitch to get himself in trouble. And one pitch later, he's already out of trouble by getting that double play. Jacoby Elster will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. DK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick, or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind. It'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Ani takes something oh, off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Uh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Oh. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Down in order go the Yankees. We played five full, tied at one aside. Ryan Dozier will get things started here in the top of inning number six. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to first and a fine start to the inning here for Latos, two away. And you know, it really doesn't have to throw that change up all that much for it to be an effective pitch. You can see what his breakdown is so far. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Let's check this out again. This is in show motion. And you'll see how he shows bunt late. He's got his head right on the baseball, watching it all the way under the barrel of the bat. That's as good a form as you're going to see. Josh Donaldson will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. And that two out single seemed harmless ah. enough, but any time you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Two. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 oh, now. Well, no taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Now on 0-2. And, and he's got him 
himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Blue Jays held in check. Score remains tied one to one. Everett Cabrera will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, it's been a difficult nut to crack. dugout say after reviewing this play a couple of times probably so here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed so the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play so here's one last look at the replay there has to be indisputable evidence in order to rule the runner safe. And boy, I tell you what, I just don't see it here. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for him in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end, so here comes the decision. And he is indeed out at first, as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Stepping in now, David Rosario. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Paul Goldschmidt will dig in for the third time now. Struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Now the first pitch. I right, goes right after the first pitch here and shoots it back up the middle and into center field for a base hit. Well, not a game to remember for either of them. Just a seven hit combined. Michael Brantley. Step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. But now you got to regroup after the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet. Not by a long shot. Fastball that he laces the other way into left, and this will split the gap for extra bases. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. And the runner will score from first. That's a nice job here, casting the two outs. You can see they were shaded to full, but he slices his ball the other way. He forces the outfield back and covers the ground, fielding this thing, and as a result, that runner's going to come all the way around the score first. And now the Blue Jays get a left-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back.
out there, and he gets this ball a long, long way. Here's Brett Gardner now. And she'll take a look at ball one. So the three straight hits have that man right there perhaps assessing his options. Three straight two out hits, too. That makes any move a little more complicated. Here's a 1 0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Three runs already home here. Navarro the sign, the 1 1. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. You know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. That's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. And a good pitch there as he got him to go after one in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Two-two. Oh, he hammers it to deep right field. And that one is out of here. is camped under this one and that will retire the side so four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies we'll go to the seventh now in game two it's the Yankees five and the Blue Jays one back here in the Bronx it's on to the seventh now in game two but before we start there's a look at our game summary to this point Edwin Encarnacion will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Now here's the first pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now the pitch. No contact here from Encarnacion if the count runs to 0-2 on it. And it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away. And it's been paying off. And whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offense at all. And they take 
take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first half. Now after the four-run inning, we get to see if he approaches things any differently now that he's working with the lead. I mean, you figure the approach will be similar, but that's a good job anyway of getting the first out here. First pitch to him. Tomas Ortega stands in as he looks at a called strike. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One, one. Bouncing ball back up the middle. So gets him two down. Jose Batista will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Now here's the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. And the pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They're down 5-1. to one. Didi Gregorius will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. Pitch coming. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Uh, and he's always so on, tough man. on left handed Come hitters. Down. That slider is just so difficult to pick up. And now pitch on the way. Goes the other way as this is line to left. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Another look here. This ball's sinking fast, but he's on the full run. He lays out to pull it in. That's well done there. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Jacoby Elsberry. Here's the first pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on this one. A solo shot for Jacoby Ellsbury. His first homer here in the series. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it. And that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it.
standing in now. Everett Cabrera. He's first pitch swinging here, and this is on the ground toward the hole. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Well, this was never going to be an easy play. This is towards the hole. I mean, he's on the outfield grass when he actually gets to this thing. And then he might have been thinking, am I going to spin and throw it or throw off balance? So he never really looks the ball in. And they're going to hit him with a top arrow. Into the box, David Rosario, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Now the Yankees, with their three home runs now, still have a ways to go to match their record for a single game. Twice in their history, they've hit eight of them, most recently in 2007. 1-0 pitch now. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a diving effort, but this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. Again. He singled and later scored his last time. Now a look and a throw back to second. A dive, but he's back. Here's the first offering. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Ortega will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Michael Brantley will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. First pitch on the way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Six runs, ten hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Another 0-2 home. And oh, he got the glove up in time as this ball thrills him. And now, fortunately, they will get it out here. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Will march on to the eighth. It's now six to one in favor of New York. Yonder Navarro to get us going now in the top half the of the eighth. Patrick, the honor Navarro. First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Go on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Eighth inning from Yankee Stadium. Yankees on top of this one at home as you get a look at the line score. Justin Smoke will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Yeah, it's not like he needed any help. Pitching well enough as it is, but this is now two pitches and two outs here in the inning. And he's growing more and more confident with every passing batter. Brian Dozier. Stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Out of the Yankee dugout now is Joe Girardi as he'll head toward the mound. And his arrival is going to signal the end of the afternoon for the starter, Matt Leto. So he receives a nice ovation from this home crowd, departing after surrendering just one earned run. Jason Shreve will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number eight.
Ryan Dozier will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. First offering on the way. And this is hit hard on the ground toward short. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Pitcher set to take over now, and it'll be the slender left-hander Wesley Wright that gets the call. Ryan McCann will get another crack, one for three thus far. the second there now the pitch checks his swing but this will be strike two call good lead there at second here's the pitch now a swing and a hard hit grounder a runner at second nobody out Spin and a throw back to second. Just keeping him close. Now a spin and another right. throw back to second. Keeping particularly close tabs on it. The next 0 2. This is hit sharply to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Oh, yeah, he's got that magic wand going now. That's his third hit, four trips, all of them singles. He's been a tough out all game long. Didi Gregorius will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and the ball lifted into straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. And at this point, every added run just makes it more and more likely that they're going to get out of here with a victory. They tack on one more here on the sacrifice fly. Jacoby Ellsbury will step in. One for four in the ballgame. First pitch coming. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Lance. And a 
a high return throw, but a great athletic play to come down with his foot on the bag. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Jose Reyes will stand in to start off the ninth here with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Now the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Out of here. So they narrow the gap and hey, don't count these guys out just yet. A solo home run for Jose Reyes. His first homer so far in the series. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Well, these guys still have some work to do, but this is a good start. Lead off home run, cuts one off the lead, but they're still going to need to manufacture a few more to get back in this ball game. Dalton Pompey will stand in to keep things going. And I don't know, Steve, is the comeback on? Well, at the very least, I like that they're showing some character out there. They never want to go down without a fight. So they're going to make these final at bats count. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Battle on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Yeah, it's kind of been one of those days. There haven't been too many balls hit hard. And even when they do hit one hard, it's an atom ball. Josh Donaldson will dig in with one in and one away. Now the first pitch. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain, a home run. It's a solo shot off the bat of Josh Donaldson. His first homer here in the series. As they cut the gap a bit, it's now an 8-3 ball game. This is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter. Edwin and Carnacion now. As he takes a ball strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And, and you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, and that's his third strikeout of the ball game. One thing we can say about this game, neither team's been afraid to swing the bat. Here we are, this late in the ball game, and we still haven't seen our first one. Tomas Ortega stand in as their last chance now. And that misses for ball one. One ball, no turn. The pit. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. 1-1 one, one home. And there's the swing and a miss for strike two. So the Blue Jays are down to their final strike now. Ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Yeah, and you know this home crowd is going to get to drive home happy as their guys come through with a very good win.
you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was really overpowering guys out there. Look at the line score. He winds up with 11 strikeouts. He definitely was an exciting factor in this one. Thank <laughs> you. 